Am, am I get, um, am I gonna start what? off with the story? <laughs> yes. So I had all right. So as someone who has grown up uh, in the United States as a first generation American, as in my 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 dad is from Mexico and he's like he was an illegal immigrant for a while and then gained amnesty in his citizenship uh, and now he's legal, right? Mm -hmm. Like I have very mm -hmm. deep ties to Mexican culture because I'm first generation American. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, this just like opened up the wound I had growing up because there's a thing that happens where if you grow up in that sort of situation and other like Mexican kids around you see that you're growing up a little bit more American than Mexican, they judge the hell out of you and think that you've like abandoned the mm -hmm. culture, which mm -hmm. to be fair, you don't have much control over that as a child. Uh, so yeah. yeah, so like this, this, what I'm about to tell you, the two stories I'm going to tell you, um, one of them has less to do with it and one more, but, uh, relate to that feeling that I had growing up. So let's start off with the one that doesn't relate to it directly. Uh, or actually let's do the directly related one that makes more sense. I have no clue how this is going to wrap it. I'm very interested. Okay. Now. <laughs> okay. So the first story is I put out a tweet just praising Skella Dirge because it is my favorite starter ever. Yes. Uh, a hundred percent. He is a Day of the Dead mariachi crocodile with yes. or alligator, whatever he is, a little bird on his nose that turns into a microphone. He is he's so ex awesome. He's explicitly a mariachi singer. Uh, yeah. So there's this guy on Twitter because <laughs> because that tweet left my target audience. That, that tweet left my target audience. Um, oh no. <laughs> there's a guy on Twitter whose name is also Marcos, funny enough. So he's very clearly some kind of Hispanic or Latino. Latino, definitely, because mm -hmm. Hispanic means that they have direct connections to Spain in their lineage, which uh, this person quite dislikes Spain uh, by our interactions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. what ended up happening is this guy quote retweets my thing saying... Um, what? I, I, hold on. It's it, The exact wording was... Uh, it's not a mariachi and it's not Mexican STFU. Uh, and I'm like, oh, that's aggressive. So I just, I just reply with like a little screenshot of Bulbapedia where it says, Skeledurge's suited appearance and general behavior resemble that of a singer, such as those in rock music, mariachi, or opera. It being a ghost crocodile relates to, uh, or its skull shaped design relates to its direct connections to Dia de los Muertos, right? So mm -hmm. these are like, Dia de los Muertos is celebrated in like general, um, like Latin America. Um, yeah. But Mexico is the one that it's most closely associated with um, as far as like non Latin America areas are concerned. Uh, so Latin America is not Spain explicitly, mm. it is yes. America, uh, South America, Mexico, that, that sort of area, right? Uh, so this person replies to me with two images, screenshot. Uh, of a Google search asking where mariachis are from, and it says the mariachi is a or the mariachi is native to a region of western Mexico, and then another screenshot asking where Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are based off of. It says <laughs> Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's Paldea region draws inspiration from Spain and Portugal, to which I say, yeah, the region's based off of Spain and Portugal, but Quaquaval is literally based off of Brazilian samba dancers. So yeah, so it's so while the region itself is based off of Portugal and uh, Spain, uh, the starters extend to general Hispanic and Latino cultures. It's like it draws inspiration to all things Hispanic or Latino. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. To which this guy responds with, first of all, I just want to remind you guys, we're talking about Pokemon, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just to remind you that we're talking about Pokemon before I read this next one. All right. Uh, and I almost see where they're going with it, to be honest. You don't see the correlation between Portugal colonizing Brazil and Spain colonizing Mexico and adding those into the game because, haha, ha, they're all the same, aren't they? You know, that's not like a real thing, right? And I'm like, oh, so this guy thinks I'm white. <laughs> so this guy, like, that's like that's just a direct, this guy thinks I'm white. Um, yeah. And it dawns on me that, like, in my in my profile picture, it's a, so my name on Twitter is Moxie the Don Ductor Boosted, um, mm -hmm. which is not a Mexican's name. Uh, and my profile picture is uh, the uh, notably non-Mexican um, Gregor Samsa laying in his bed during the metamorphosis uh, <laughs> caption, damn shoddy, okay. Uh, damn shoddy. So I'm like, oh, this guy thinks I'm white. So I just replied with him, 
Bro, I'm literally Mexican and I understand the historical significance of Spanish colonization. You don't have to talk down to me about it. It's literally a game celebrating a wide variety of Hispanic and Latino culture. We don't get much of that. Can I have this? Yeah. So it's not only can I have this, but also I have this. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, hey, he liked it, which means that he's done arguing with me. Yeah. <laughs> he liked you it. Won. He didn't reply. Word, he didn't. When you put uh, the word we in there. It was over. Yeah. It was. It yeah, no, as soon as. It was <laughs> <over>. <laughs> yeah, he was like, we. Oh. <laughs> oh. Honestly, what I should. There's a picture of me, like, going to a quinceanera and I'm wearing, like, a full, like, super, like, Mexican outfit. I should have, like, sent a picture of that in, like, in Spanish written. I bet you feel real fucking stupid right now, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> My thing with that, right, is, like, if we're going off of, like, oh, it's the Spain region, right? Look at every other Pokemon in the Pokedex. Why we got Tatsugiri in there? Is, Sp is yeah. Sushi Spanish now? Is that what we're yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. Not, famous, uh, not every famously, Pokemon is based off of the region. Famously French uh, Pokemon, Halucha. Famously <laughs> French Pokemon, <laughs> Greninja. What? what are we doing exactly, here? exactly. Ah, yes, the French ninjas. I forgot we studied those oh, yes. in, in, in history class. Oh, yes. Uh, so yeah, what? I remember that. Um, what's another good one? Uh, famously... <laughs> Famously New York inspired French noble Pokemon uh, Superior. <laughs> like Yeah, and the samurai, samurai. and the sumo yeah, wrestler. Yeah. And <laughs> to be fair, all right, to be fair though, new, the the Gen 5 games are based off of New York, which is a melting pot of cultures, which is why they yeah. like but that's beyond the point. Like yeah. Halucha and France, that sort of thing. So that was the first yeah, yeah. one where like I'm like I'm uh, for the first time in like 15 years, I'm having another Mexican person talk down to me about Mexican or about like not being Mexican, and I'm like, first of all, I am. Uh, <laughs> you know. literally celebrates in every generation like the merging of cultures, and like that is like yeah. one of the coolest things to me. Like, yeah, like, yeah. like we don't got a character that's literally from Galar in this fucking game, and then they bring all the tea and shit from you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they, yeah. like what are we, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, and and like, don't get me wrong, I sort of almost kind of get what they're what they're like trying to like gesture towards. Like, yeah, hey, isn't it a little messed up that they would base like. You know, they would put like a Mexican Pokemon in a Spanish region. And it, my response to that would be like, no, their intentions are nothing but flattery. Uh, so, no. But also, I almost get it. Uh, so that's the first yeah. story. Uh, the second story also has to do with uh, an assumption. Uh, and I and it also has to do with the VTubers. <laughs> so there. So I so I have always just made fun. I've heard like clips of. Mori Calliope. Mori Calliope. I've always like heard clips. I've never heard the full thing. And the inflection of her voice, the I'm actually an anime person way that she raps and sings. Oh, yeah. it always put me off. So I never listened to a full song. Today, Ballad. I was exposed to a full song, and I had to say something. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and it was basically yeah. just saying I had I just listened to uh Mori Calliope for the first time and it's like a picture of Master Shake saying I am 30 or 40 years old. I don't need this. Yeah. Um <laughs> and a lot of people replied some of them like they all got it was just like a joke, right? But also like mm -hmm. I'm kind of serious. Uh but one person replied saying that they had lost all respect for me which I assumed was a joke. Right? Um, and Sarcasm. also, yeah, I thought it was like, I've lost all respect for you because you don't like Anna. Like, it's like a joke, right? Um, oh, I saw, I saw that reply and I thought it was like, I lost all respect for you because you actually listened to it. That's what I thought well, it was. One would assume it's not that, um, judging by the actual reply or by the way things turned out. So yeah. the way for context as to why I said this specific thing, uh, when I found out that Maury Calliope is actually just a white person. It, the music went from being bad to questionable. Yep. Um, because yep. I'm listen. I'm all for sharing culture because I'm a Mexican person. We love sharing our culture. Mm -hmm. But is it not a little bit weird that she's playing a Japanese person? Like I, I get like yeah. not all anime characters are Japanese, but if you're an anime character and rapping in Japanese consistently, are you not playing a Japanese character? 
Oh, she's an Which, idol too, by the way. So that's a whole. Oh other yeah, no, that's <laughs> yeah, that that's that's just like that's yeah. explicitly like kind of. I don't even know if cultural appropriation is the right word. It's kind of cultural. Appropriation, it's being you know? a. Yeah. Uh, it's like kosher vulture shit, right? Yes, it's it's yeah. culture vulturism. Yes, that's that's exactly the word I'm looking uh, for. Uh, <laughs> like the whole yeah. almost saying the n word thing also is a little. Did she? Okay, Multiple well she's just, times. She's uh, just racist then. Okay, yeah, but that's all right. all right. So so what I said. Uh, in response to the person saying that to me, like, I've lost all respect for you, uh, just one simple sentence. I said, it's like if Justin Bieber released a Chicano rap album. <laughs> Which, for, well, Ash, you live in L.A. area, so you know what, yeah, you know what yeah, Chicano know. rap is. It's like Cypress Hill, yeah. it's like uh, Kid Frost, like that sort of thing. You know, <laughs> you've all heard it. it it's like the, ex it's explicitly Latino rap. Mm, um, yeah. And I'm beginning to think that... Because they, they just replied with, wow, dot, 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 and then unfollowed me. Um, I'm beginning to think that this is a person who doesn't know that Chicano is in reference to Mexicans growing up in America uh, and might have thought it was like a slur <laughs> for Asian people. Oh, my God. I'm beginning to I, think I, that that might be where the misunderstanding was. <laughs> I think the misunderstanding was is that they're a big VTuber fan, and what happened when Calliope was people were finally like, "Wow, this is a little." Ooh. Is that, uh, um, a lot of their fans got very up in arms about it. Oh, so and it became very polarizing. Oh, so I think so, it's more so, like, so, a, wait, like a, wait, I'm not, defending not only, my, wait, my best friend. Not only that, but she weaponized them. Like she went on oh her because if you didn't know, Calliope Mori is uh, it's like it's like an alias but her she's also like online as like demon dice uh, yeah, I yeah. Heard that. yeah that's she, how i found out she's like a white person yeah she um used like her twitter account to essentially like weaponize her fans but as like a no i i'm not racist stop the hate stop stop hating on me i shouldn't be i shouldn't be canceled like type of stuff and it's like and really they're just are weird. they like stands are they basically like stands pretty much yeah uh, it's okay same, so that gives shit. me a little bit more self-assurance that there isn't a person out there who thinks i'm racist and it's it's less it's less they think i'm racist and more they like racism uh so i'm okay with that <laughs> yeah. you guys want to talk about pokemon though <laughs> <laughs> i want to have one more note of weeb culture especially in like teenagers gets very concerning sometimes because it feels like those white kids who listened to rap and pretended that they were all that that, that they were black or, or said the n-word all of the time yeah because there are a lot of kids like that in my high school it, especially in the la area is it like another but, side of that coin where it's like now yeah. we're, now we now we're appropriating japanese culture G guys oh, guys time. i want to go to japan when i'm older yeah. guys isn't japan dude i love the thing in japan and it just <laughs> thing thing japan <laughs> yeah, literally, it, it becomes that in i don't know i was noticing this near the end of high school and i i see it a lot online and i feel like that's what mori is leaning into uh especially i don't know the whole not even trying a japanese accent really irks me and it, and it gives the vibes of someone who gets a tattoo of something in kanji. It's like, oh my god, guys, it's so exotic. It's so cool. Yeah. It means yeah. like fire. It or says something. it's me getting lechuga in big bold letters <laughs> with like the 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 Virgin Mary's like hands closed over it on my chest. And I'm like, and I, and people are like, what does it mean? I'm like, it means a lot. Have you seen those videos? Lettuce. That's like visiting an aesthetic American supermarket. It's fucking Costco, and they're like oh American God. snacks, so cute. <laughs> that means kawaii in American. Oh my God. <laughs> now before, now I swear to God, if any of you are in the comment sections typing right now, oh, but she's part of a Japanese company. She's a Japanese professor before she. I will suplex you in real yeah. life. I don't all right, care. Wait. <laughs> I, I all right. So so if also if you're like. Uh, if you're like Mexican like me and you're like into you're into Mori's music, um, I am about to sing to you a Quinto Sol song like Mori would. So just try to empathize with how this probably sounds to people who actually speak Japanese. But this if you're like Hispanic, which I know a lot of our viewers are Hispanic, uh, just think about it like this. Esto es para todos los mi que ando pregunto carnal. Que es lo que pienso de la escala nacional? 
You're hurting. You're physically hurting. I don't think I've cringed Stop. harder and more visceral in one second than I ever have in my entire life. That's why I'm going to say that I have a lot of esperanza, carnal, because I have a lot of This is making me think of that, that fucking lady on TikTok who's like Japanese but Southern. It's like, Konnichiwa. <laughs> Just, Sarah just or Xbox or Sarah, <laughs> Sarah, no. Yeah. Exactly. Oh my God. Exactly. Sarah, no. Xbox or death. It's awful. It's just awful. Be normal. Yeah. Uh, by the way, that, Once that again. you couldn't understand any of that, but that that's like the intro no, I line. Get, I get that's, the vibes. Yeah, that's the but intro that's line <laughs> to a song, which roughly translates to, this is for everyone who asks me what I think of the national scene. <laughs> Net, I'm gonna tell you that I have a lot of hope because there's a lot of level. That's that's like the Google Translate version. I don't want to actually have to translate it because my Spanish yeah. is quite rusty. Okay. My Spanish is a bit rusty. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, it's valid. Yeah. No. Puedo hablar español, pero es uh, no es uh, posible para hablar claro. Same. I'm also the guy that can't to speak it at all, but I can hear it, <laughs> which is exactly what yeah, he just like, said. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Well, I said, I said, I, you know, I can speak Spanish, but it's, but it's not sufficient to like speak clearly to people. But um, you can't hear it, and I, yeah, yeah, and I understand it. Um, by the way, if you guys want to listen to some nice uh, Chicano rap, uh, check out Kid Frost and Cypress Hill. Cypress Hill Thank is you. are the people who made Insane in the Membrane. Oh, yeah, Insane in the Brain. <laughs> I, had, uh, <laughs> I, I, I had a a listener not going to name names who speaks Spanish who tried to get me to nickname my uh my like the middle form of Skeledurge. He tried to name he's like name it huevos because that means eggs and he's got a little egg on his head. I'm like shut the fuck right, up. To be fair, it does mean eggs. I know it does it mean eggs, eggs, but there's there's eggs. other words. Yeah. There's other meanings there. Yeah, it, it means it means a little bit more than eggs. Um, I Nuts. also I had a hit tweet with my Spanish speaking viewers today. Yo, there's a there's a popular uh, uh, like party song uh, for for Mexican parties called uh, El Coco No, um, and it is you'll you'll know it when you hear it, right? Like you you've definitely heard it, Ash, growing up in like uh, California. So yeah, I'm sure. It, I don't know how to pronounce it, or how to like describe it. It goes like did. Okay, it's like that one so I, I tweeted out um I, I tweeted out lyrics to it because I had like a a dream last night that I was at like a party and of course that's the song that's play. it's either that or gasolina um yeah, oh yeah that <laughs> yeah, so that was playing in my head because um, I was just at a party in my dream. And mm -hmm. because I play way too much Pokemon, uh, I heard Croconaw. Yeah. <laughs> so I just tweeted out, <laughs> Nota me subas al, and then a picture of Croconaw. <laughs> and like, <laughs> it's o only Hispanic people have, only Hispanic people have liked it so far. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that, that, it. that one it. That's how you guarantee you never leave the target audience. Yeah. Just something so like niche. Hispanic Pokemon player. <laughs> Welcome to the Route One podcast, where half of us are Hispanic. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. What's going Chilling on the SSN with some Mexicans. They got no SSN, and I'm the motherfucking captain. That's how we bring it back to Pokemon. Good job, CTC. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, welcome to Route 1 Podcast. Our icons are scuffed this episode because they decided to not work. So, we're just using Discord icons today. Woo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at my cool crab. Wait, I'm Look me? at how awesome I am. Yeah, it's my. Oh, so you can see how white I actually am. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a very pixelated I, version of your icon, but yes, it is you. But, but. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me and Asha Toad and uh, guy. Oh, but I got commissioned. Smile. So. Yeah. It's so awesome. And, I and, love this image so much. And I am Ash's drawing of Glycopod. <gasps> You're right. I did that. That's awesome. I did that. Yes. Sir, from would you like <laughs> would you like more jobs? I forget sometimes. I've been trying to tell Ash that she's a good artist, so I guess it, Yeah, I'm not. Ash, Ash, but I, I, will... I, I would like to actually get you to do more emotes, um, because Michael's oh, currently yeah. busy with all of my other jobs. Um <laughs> and it would be very cool to get consistency on the art. Wait, am I not doing the emotes now? <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, you can, you can, but I mean, like, I would also like talk to Ash about a couple of them to like uh, get them in sooner. Cause I, I is, have like, is... I have like 160 subs on Twitch right now and I have Shame. like 10 emotes. No, I have like four emotes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Out of 10. Out of like 12. Oh, wow. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I, I listen. Okay. Here's my concept. Here's my concept, right? You get you you get two of them that like link together and it's a Tetsugiri and a Don Dozo and he's like hopping into his mouth. Well, he's I was like, I was thinking it could be train cars and then like a Don Dozo at the front with a conductor. Yes, hat. the Don Doctor. Yeah, I love and then that. like I and then that. like the ends of the train can be a Tatsugiri like in the caboose. Yes, so you can make it oh, as long as wonderful. you want. That's nice. This is wonderful. I enjoy this. <laughs> yeah, I I love emotes that like all link together. And 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 Michael Brady Brady, I'm extending this to you because you're already streaming. Michael, if you decide to start streaming again, I am happy to to do emotes for y'all. I've seen his thumbnails. He's gonna make a video. He's gonna make it any day. <gasps> videos are happening yeah. this weekend. It's facts. Oh shit! He says that, but I'm just gonna keep making him make videos for make make thumbnails for me, and then he's not. I gonna... can do. Both. You're sabotaging him. You're no, you're trying to get both. him out of the competition. No, he can do what both. Michael man? Michael just doesn't sleep. Bro's like a vampire. I am. Yeah. A no, he needs to sleep. <laughs> Stop being on Australian time zone. I'm a freak in the I sheets. Woke up at the 9 open team today. sheets. Come on, give me some slack. <laughs> oh, that's good. He's on the when did you go to bed? Uh, midnight, something like that. Okay, that's actually, that's very, that's that's yeah. actually very I good. I can Michael, be normal. Surprising. No one's got faith in me anymore because <laughs> I'm so Michael much of a psychopath that it's like everyone's like, yeah. "Oh my god, he's gonna die. He's gonna blow his heart out or some shit. He doesn't ever sleep." And it's like, no, I do. You just don't see when I do. <laughs> Bro puts the mid and midnight. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Get over it, stinky. Damn, that's crazy. That's yeah. your channel artist, bro. Yeah, I know. He does a great job. You can't insult him. He'll leave. Pff, oh, no, God. the fuck I won't. I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that shit. Yay. I love taking now. advantage of the, of the labor market. <laughs> Michael, if you and Ash unionize, I am going to... <laughs> 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 the union of two people. Yeah, who's it, working Jeremy for one and Michael unionize. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so funny if you and Jeremy unionize. <laughs> you know what? Let's Please. do it. Have have like a separate Discord channel in the in the production Discord that I can't get into called like the Moxie Boosted Production. <laughs> <unit>. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. I, I, I enjoy this idea. After after Salmon Run, after Big Run happened in Splatoon, for all the Splatoon fans out there, the amount of just posts that were guys were unionizing against this place, right? Like, Wait. It's so goofy. <laughs> what, what was the what was the thing they put out? It was like thanks for thanks for doing Big Run, you will get like <laughs> un, unpaid like holiday time or some shit. I think I remember seeing something yeah. like that. <laughs> Uh, you will be compensated with unpaid holiday time. And it's like, damn, oh that's God. crazy. Yep. <laughs> that is crazy. Grizzco. I love Splatoon and how realistic it is. Grizzco <laughs> taking advantage of its uh, of its workers. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Same. Also, I'm just annihilating this dude with Palm. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to screen share it because we're not going to get into that like tangent again. But I have to say, <laughs> guys, viewers, Palm Mod is legit. Oh, my God. So, so here's my question about Palmot. Are we running full support, full offense, or a mix? Because I see Iron Fist Thunder Stab Thunder Punch, and I think, hmm, mm. damage. Mm. Mm. Damage. Well, like there's Yoda, not exactly. really many electric types right now, so it would fill a niche that's like kind of like yeah. There. But, and also, but double the shock there's is a reason absurd. There's not a lot of little... Double shock, yeah. like it's not like burn up where you like lose your only typing because you're Arcanine and you're the only Pokemon who gets it. It's like mm -hmm. actually good because you just like I, I don't know how to explain it. Like like literally, it's like oh well now I'm just like a really fast fighting type, which is ah. good. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, I was gonna say to, there's a reason there's not a lot of electric types right now because there's mm -hmm. not a lot of things weak to yeah, electric. We're very seeing a good bit point. of rain. Very good point. There are no water types. But Dondozo <laughs> terastalizes, and it, the main like damage count the main counter damage wise is Miascarada, which is grass yeah. so yeah. tatsugiri doesn't and, play like a water type because of its dragon typing and it's low base uh hp yeah, um, yeah. dendozo is oh. never a water type because it's of terra uh yeah steel i i've I'm, i've currently become steel pilled gastrodon <laughs> i suppose but that doesn't even get hit by electric so like what's the point yo, of electric types yeah. right now yo, yo 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 make gastrodon a grass type and get stab on giga drain don't tell anyone i told you this <laughs> 
Okay, There's also no flying types down, that people are using, right? Like, what are the options? Kill a Wattrel? That's an electric well, and flying. Golden so. Go, Golden Go is the best flying type right now, in my opinion. True. Literally, yeah, the best flying types are that. like King Gambit, Golden Go, like those guys. But wait, where's that picture? So I made yeah. a, uh, I made a picture back in Sword and Shield when Dynamax was first being figured out and, and Protein and all that. Let me pull it up because it, it was that. It, it was that. What's your favorite Pokemon and every, of each type? And every like, little chart, and everything is not right. It was a Cinderace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so let me see. Where? Oh my God! Where's the fucking picture? I lost it. Oh no, I found it. Never mind. My favorite Grass type is Gyarados. Uh, my favorite uh, Electric type is Porygon Z. I mean Porygon Two. My favorite Ice type is Porygon Two. My favorite Dark type is Cinderace. My favorite Fighting type is Cinderace. My favorite Rock type is Excadrill. Um, my true. favorite Poison type true. is Gudra. <laughs> My favorite flying type is also Cinderace. <laughs> this is what it feels like. Every Pokemon is everything. Garchomp is my favorite fire type for sure, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say about Terrastalizing, because I've been playing more VGC as of late. Um, I mean, Birdie built a team in the middle of the fucking night. Uh, one night and I think it's so saucy that I cannot wait to play it on ladder and then, like, take it to a tournament. Um, I want to take a peek at that. Yeah. I still don't have a team. My mouse hold, sauce. mouse hold, Dragapult on the same team. So you hit them twelve times in Ooh. one turn. Kazuyam Yushimo ten hit. No, mouse hold, mouse hold, and Breloom. So you, and you run loaded dice Breloom. Yeah, that's fifteen. I'm hits. waiting for King's Rock mouse hold. I, I'm surprised no one's done that it's, yet. It's you. It's you prefer the damage just to KO because the option is you either KO something oh, or you have a 65 percent chance to flinch. Like that's the reason true, people true. don't run it. Yeah, that's that's very true. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I saw some mouse hold being good is so. I should nice look this and up awesome. and like be right about this, but I know the number for at least one of the stats is like, uh, like a, um, on average base power of uh wide lens mouse hold is or like population bomb is like 180 because of the accuracy what? um oh and this is this is on average it's not like using the move but um yeah but still without any accuracy boosting item because it's 90 like on average it's like significantly lower yeah mm -hmm. like 120s or some shit um so but but it's still 120 base power move with no drawbacks besides maybe you miss like like it's, it's 90 not, accuracy is a damn good drawback for any base 120 move yeah, I think missing with mouse hold already when it's like one percent chance to miss with wide lens is like when that happens the Pokemon sucks. <laughs> like yeah. So yeah. I feel like increasing those odds by any amount is like not really that great. Yeah, technician wide lens mouse hold is just a monster. Yeah, and I love it so I like much. It. it makes wide lens feel like so when you're like sitting down to build a team and you're like hmm, where where are the items going right? I've got the life orb. I don't really want to be running multiple choice items. So like maybe I've got a choice band. I've got a life orb. What else? I can. Mm. I want to boost damage other ways, but I don't want to use shit like charcoal, mystic water, like that stuff. Mm. Wide yeah. lens mouse hold feels like a second life orb <laughs> in that. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I mean, the last good wide is. lens user was Venusaur, and even then, people are like, "Wide lens Venusaur, dude, just run Sash." Yeah, literally. yeah. I feel like running wide lens, not one, not running wide lens on mouse hold is the same as not running compound eyes on like a butterfree. It's like yeah, uh, it, oh, it's like all it, it's comparable just because like, when are you gonna miss sleep powder without like you run sleep powder on that guy? So you yeah, so why I not have actually it? been thinking about this. Um, I don't remember where who posted the replay, but someone made a replay on Twitter of Vivillion, and I was like, wait a minute, compound eyes hurricane. Whew. Wait, that's the format sleep powder user, wouldn't it be? Yeah. Compound does sleep powder, hurricane. It gets rage powder too, so you just throw a sash Isn't on it. Just like better butterfree. Like it's faster, better I butterfree, right? Is it faster? I thought it was slower. Uh, butterfree is seventy five. Pavilion is eighty nine. So, I uh, I think butterfree is stronger. However, like yeah, butterfree is not in this game, right? Otherwise, butterfree is not in this game. Sleep powder shit. But butterfree can't click hurricane because I don't think butterfree gets they both hurricane. Get hurricane. <laughs> oh, they do. Okay, never mind. I'm stupid. Uh, uh but either either way. I think that it's it's a silly Pokemon, and I saw someone like just use it, and now I'm thinking about it. Like that that'll probably be what I end up using on a meme team or something. Cause I don't know redirection and sleep powder, but on a fast guy instead of a Mungus is always just kind of a nice thing to have. Powder, it does. Yes. Yeah, no, get, it does. Oh, it does get it rage does. powder. It it's Ooh. literally yeah. butterfree. Cause it's, <laughs> wait, why are people not using that? Uh, probably because a long. lot of. Yeah, it's Vivillion, and it, it's not it's like that. 
does he get tailwind? Okay, nice. I don't How know. Fast is it, it? Uh, 89. it doesn't hit many things. Oh, that's it's the reason, dude. <laughs> that's yeah, the reason. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not super duper fast. Um, I guess a lot of. But I will say like... the other the other meme is Spupa. If you like Spupa, because Spupa gets friend guard. Yeah, well, and also still rage that powder. Might literally do the villain's job better. <laughs> it will. Yeah, I I am not joking. But it doesn't yes, get tailwind or compound out sleep powder. Compound out sleep powder. <laughs> it I, also I, has like the worst move pull in the game. Like not in the game. Hey, but, like, hey, it's, hey! It's a really bad move pool. It's iron defense, protect, rage powder, stun spore, terror blast, bug bite, harden, poison powder, pounce, string shot, struggle bug, and a tackle. That's it. That's all of it. Well, that's the thing. You, you hey, just Vivalon you just gets click... friend guard too. What are we talking about? Oh, yeah, no, it doesn't. Compound eyes. It does get friend guard. Yeah. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, but it's, it's insane then. It is villain. Yeah. yeah, but. Spupa, Spupa doesn't need anything. Yeah, you just need, need you need powder. a powder yeah. move. You need a rage powder. You need something to do chip damage and like I don't know if it gets pollen puff. Spupa. Hey, um, <laughs> shifting gears a little bit. I just want to say something about like Terrastal. What's up? Oh yes. Normally with like gimmicks, uh, they like I I, I I like them less and less as they go on. Like I like Z moves less as we went on. I I like Dynamax less as we go on. Um, no, I just really like Terrastal this time. I agree. Like it's growing on me because there is legitimate conversations to be had about the viability of camera upped on hail teams. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's really yeah, funny, so, actually. Would you so, would you like to elaborate? Specifically Jamie Boyd said it, but I was thinking about it too. Ooh. Um but so here's the thing. So like camera upped is like 35 base speed, 45, let me check. Uh 40, 40. It's 40 base speed. And it has a much higher special attack stat than Torkoal uh, at 105 because Torkoal's special attack stat is 85. So you have 20 extra points. Uh, so mm. it can be like a pretty strong eruption user in that sense. Uh, and you, while Torkoal is like good on Trick Room teams and Obama Snow is good on Trick Room teams, uh, you don't want to override Obama Snow's hail like ever. Ah. So... That's where solid rock, uh, terra oh. fire, uh, camera up comes in. I see it. I see it. Yeah. That is actually kind of sick. I like that. Also, solid rock plus like terra steel is like very hard to KO because camera up, while it doesn't have the best defenses, 70, 70, 75 isn't unusable. This is what makes me so happy about it. Like, I didn't even know, I completely forgot camera up had solid rock. Yeah. Like, who's used a fucking camera up in the last two years? Exactly. Like <laughs> and, and other things, we're, like, we're seeing a ton of flash fire Pokemon Terra Grass. Uh, yep. We're seeing Hydreigon Terra Steel, or I even saw a Terra Electric one to bypass weaknesses altogether. I, t I consistently uh -huh. Terra Electric my Rotom Heat. Mm -hmm, like, yeah. it is, this is a fun mechanic. Like, it Something is. Something I will add into Pokemon that we haven't really looked at yet. We have a kind of Weezing Regigigas 2 with uh, Slacking and don't, Prankster Duel. No. It's silly. It's, it's silly. Someone's gonna win a local with it, and then it's gonna be all over the place. It's, I'm calling it's it. It's not but good. But I know fun. it's not good, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yeah, it would be awesome. It would be, awesome. Awesome. Fun. Listen, it would be awesome if it didn't have to deal with Gold Dango. That's like yeah. 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 Fun fact. Yeah. Ash, Aaron Zang already showcased it, and it hasn't picked up. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fun fact. The first video, my first uh, Scarlet Violet video, the first battle of my first video in that, in that series... Uh, I went up against that. You know what they did? They clicked Doodle into my uh, <laughs> into my Hydreigon and Goldanger. Yeah, no, that's not uh, not no. It was Murkrow and Goldanger. Never Dark mind, types but... are everywhere. Ghost types are everywhere. You can't. Really uh, I well, see. Yeah. I see. That's a good point. Dark good type point. and Goldanger is literally the account of that, and they just died. Yeah. Okay, like, hear me out. Hear me out. Oh yeah, you can't copy good as gold because the ability. Yeah. Yeah. So here's my other here's my other silly that I seen. I think it was No, we're I think done. It was we're foo. done with silly. No! Listen to my sillies! I think it was foo foo two foo foo two. So, I don't yeah. know remember how many foos are in their name. Uh, but they're very awesome and they used support metacham because it gets skill swap now and you could put huge power on anything. Oh wait, huge power. power slacking. Now that's a little bit better than doodle. <laughs> exactly. You you can put pure power on anything you want to. With, uh, the problem is Metachamp's slow, but it can also be like Trick Room Setter, you know, then put it onto like, I don't know. A, Metachamp might have Offensive sauce. Gargankle that isn't body prep. I don't know. I, I, there's not really any slow 
physical guys that I can think of off the top of my head right I now. King Gambit him having sauce. King Gambit, yeah, you could you could put pure power onto King Gambit after King you Gambit. get a Fake out, push. trick room, skill swap, attacking move. Why not? Yeah. To be fair, this is a strategy Fake. that has been available since Gen 3, and it was never good. No, it, it so never got lot, skill swap. To your before. camera up point, though, a lot of shit has been available for a really long time. It's just only now able to be used because the power level is so low of the generation. So Also, Terrastal is like. Metacham didn't get skill swap before, though. It didn't get skill right? swap? Pretty it sure didn't. Oh. I'm going to say that you're wrong um, and not check. I'm looking it up. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna assume you're wrong. I will and just check, not and if I'm check. wrong, I'll just wow. cry. Oh, okay. I love, uh, Brady. I love okay, y'all talk about something. Brady's, <laughs> Brady's. Brady's. my source on this one. Um, and Brady's gonna let me know if I'm right or wrong. Uh, but let me send him my answer attached to <laughs> Brady. You should be getting a. You should be getting a PayPal payment right now with my answer on it. Not to be that guy, <laughs> but I did just check. Metachimp does get skill swap and pure power in this generation. So yeah, in this gen. Yeah, gen three we're talking about, or gen four, any any, any gen, gen prior to this. That's what I'm checking. Mm. Sir, so, um, skill swap, groom. Fake it out, did not get it. skill swap in generation seven. It didn't oh. get it in gen eight either, sir. Well, because it well, didn't exist. Well, in um, it existed in BDSP. BDSP, sir. Oh. It didn't. Well, that, well, then there you go. It didn't get it in Gen 6, 7, or BDSP. Did it get it in Gen 5? Let's find out. <laughs> Skill yeah. swap. Nope. So, I'm going to activate nope. my, my hidden ability gaslight. Um, yeah, I'm really <laughs> glad that I got that right, though. Like, I, I told you that it has. <laughs> yeah, this is like the first time we've ever had access to that. Yeah, man. Yeah, if anyone yeah, makes a Metacham work, I think this would be the time to do it because once the Ruination and uh, Paradox guys come, nope, oh, that thing's never seen the light. Well, of day. I mean, to be fair, Metacham's biggest weakness was Intimidate because mm -hmm. while it has huge power, you know, High Jump Kick doesn't pick up KOs on anything after an Intimidate. Um, okay, that is, so, this is true. Yeah. Oh, that's a really good point, actually. A lot of the things that like used to hold back a lot of like lower tier, lower like uh, strength viable yeah. viable Pokemon. Like intimidate from Arcanine or like um, Togekiss being a fairy type with Follow Me, right? A lot of shit like that. Marcos, uh, I'm gonna change his tune right now. Watch this. A lot of shit like that is just less viable now, right? Like you don't see mm -hmm. intimidate Arcanine have every single team, right? Like a lot of offensive teams aren't gonna be running the things that are like oppressing the the lower guys, right? So like, I think because of changes like that, you can see weird shit like Metacham pop off, like to your point of like, yeah, Intimidate's just not as hot as it used to be. Fake Out's not yeah. as hot as it used to be because well, ghosts Well, doesn't yeah. need to be an attacker in this situation. It could just be a support deal. Yeah, I like the nah, idea of like, nah. focus It's got pure power. Skill Run it as an attacker. Out. Well, you put a pure power on something else. Yeah. No, 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 no. Skill this swap has, no, This has sauce. Look, Focus Sash, pure power, Trick Room, Skill Swap, Close Combat, Fake Out. Attack if you need or make the other thing attack. <laughs> Could you run Scarf Skill Swap and then just like deal with the consequences of that later? <laughs> you can. Here, here, Marcos. I have a I have a proposition to make you think about the strategy a little bit more seriously. You could run your bulky Dondozo and then just give it pure power. Um. Uh, you would have to run two po all right so you would have to lead off meta oh wait Dondozo. no you're right you have to kill it oh, yeah well you have mind, to lead off meta champ dondozo and then skill swap and then get in your tatsugiri and that'll work um yeah, no, i'm wrong never mind but but it's like that's so hard to do yeah yeah no i i completely forget that you cannot have a guy next to dondozo yeah <laughs> He he has no friends. His friends are in his mouth. Speaking about Dondozer and having no no one next to him, uh, okay, this is weird. For some reason, Brady I said a word. For some reason, I didn't realize if you couldn't switch out Dondozer with Tatsugiri in your mouth. You didn't realize that. I did. That's like one of the main counter plays. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the reason that they allowed this to happen in the first place. I thought no, like I thought like you'd be able to switch out your Dondozo and then Tatsugiri would sort of pop out and then not have a turn, right? That's no, what I you're would stuck. You you can't even get whirlwinded out. That's crazy. So you just like, uh, I see. I, and then Michael was like, "No, you you can't switch out." And then I was like, "Oh, okay, that's why Parasong is a counter to that guy." Just yeah. Loop. I mean, 
uh, uh, that actually reminds me of a thing that happened today. I was playing with my Dondozo team to practice for the tournament uh, tomorrow, mm. and I went up against a guy with a Mimikyu, and I beat him, and I had four Pokemon left, and he just had a Mimikyu. But the Mimikyu couldn't break my Dondozo, and I'm running, uh, like, my, my Rest Talk Body Press Order Upset, which doesn't touch Mimikyu. Well, I was at plus six defense, <laughs> and I just told the guy, like, hey, respectfully, this is going to take, like, several crits in a row for you to win, um, and you don't have Shadow Claw, you have Phantom Force, so oh, no. respectfully, do you mind forfeiting? And he just ignored me. Uh, mm -hmm. and we just played, played and played and played, and he was running out of time, and he actually didn't even lose to timer. Do you want to know what he lost to? Hmm. When my Dondozo started struggling, it oh! actually was, it was capable of KOing the Mimikyu. <laughs> yeah. I did see that tweet. So. That was very silly. <laughs> yeah. It's just... Can people, like, not be petty when you lose on Showdown? I know, right? It, like, it drives me lost. insane. People will just get up from their computer and walk away or open up another game and let, let wait for you to turn on timer so they can lose to time rather than just forfeit. Yeah. Like, that doesn't I, save I your elo. That. I don't get that. Like, I think that, like, those are the sort of people who are just, like, mad? I guess. Like, like, are you literally, like, so mad at the game that you go, I'm going to take this out on the person who's better than me at this game? Yes. No, yeah, I've been there. I've literally like, been there. Gen 7, I was super toxic. I'd be like, man, I'm bad, and this is the only thing that makes me, like, feel good about myself in my life. Mm, let me take it out on anything I possibly can. Yeah, I'm, that's, thing. that's what happens when you're, like, not having a good time mentally. Yeah, I, I, no, I literally. Think Do other things, uh, Pokemon players. It makes you better at Pokemon, because then it makes you, like, not mauled so hard <laughs> i've never yeah. understood like people being toxic on showdown chat like i i like it when it's like marco says honka honka whenever he presses fucking <laughs> yeah, thunder. yeah. That's, cool. that's fine honka but, honka <laughs> but when but when like you fucking like when you like destroy someone on showdown and you're like oh get fucking destroyed nerd yeah or like <laughs> Try, I don't know, yeah. just, like, being toxic on Showdown, I've never gotten, and, like, it's really common, and it's, like, dude, that's so unnecessary, like, it's playing, I'm just trying to play the fucking video game. <laughs> yeah, you know what I like more than toxic players to run into, to, like, laugh at? Mm. Mm. Hmm. The role players. Those See, are funny. Role Those players, are really I can't, funny. I can't not, be not even, mad at not the role players, even, though. Not even, like, the role players who have, like, a Cynthia theme team, but, like, the role players who will talk to you, like, <laughs> oh, okay, no, that's. Like I guess I'm gonna have to take this seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Turns cat backwards. I didn't know there were people and like just, that. No, uh, literally, and <laughs> literally, like, whenever that happens, I'm like, you know what, buddy, do your thing. I like you, Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it infinitely more than like people that treat Showdown as though like it's not person to person. It's like. Mm -hmm. Like I think something with the internet that's been become, becoming way more apparent to me as of late is like, dude, you we're interacting with people. This would be the exact same thing of if you take everyone you interact with like online, if you put them all into a grocery store, if you're interacting <laughs> with them in the, in not the same way, you're fucking weird. <laughs> like yeah. yeah, exactly. There there's so many situations. Like so the showdown example of them rage quitting by just starting another match. Imagine you're at a regional, you're pumped, you're ready. Literally, it's your round literally. one. You've hyped yourself up. You get them in a you you got to the game 3. You're in a winning position. You're so ready. The person Turns off their switch, stands up, and walks away without saying a word. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, what like, the fuck are you doing? Like, they're, it, they're, it's, even, it's even, like, social shit, too, right? It's, like, being fucking weird and creepy to people and, like, asking questions that, like, have nothing to do with anything out of nowhere that are, like, super personal. It's like, dude, it, would yeah. you literally go to the fucking grandma right next to you buying lettuce at the grocery store and, like, <laughs> uh, ask her where she lives? No, you wouldn't fucking do that because that's weird, bro. That's no, fucking would, weird. Don't do that. I would it's lean over to her. I would lean over to her, point at the lettuce and go, like, you know what that is in Spanish? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I thought after last week's bit, I thought you were gonna say there's a fish in there. That's a, fi that's a fish in that lettuce. <laughs> that's a classic. <laughs>
Uh, it's, like she ar- it's like she opens up the lettuce like fucking the paper guy from Part 4 Jojo and there's a fucking yeah, fish yeah. in there. It's like, whoa, yeah. how'd that the get page. There? <laughs> on, on the On the showdown toxic thing, yeah. I, what's, what's even more like messed up is like you have to be a certain kind of stupid to act like that. Um, yeah. Because everyone else, or like they, right, when they do that, are embarrassed at the fact that they lost the match and they're taking it out on you. Yeah. Everyone else doesn't care that they lost the match. They should be embarrassed that they're acting like that. Literally. Yeah. yeah. It's, and it, it, I'm, I'm going to say it again. Same shit with antisocial people or like parasocial and like just socially inept motherfuckers that are just like taking it out on the world because they're not good at something. Bro, that's your fault. Yeah, dude, you are bad at something. Own it. Holy fuck! Literally, my professor for this semester in one of my classes. Dad, this, oh my god, this had is personal things going on. I'm assuming, and he raged at my whole class, like super upset that people weren't showing up on the week of finals or like the weeks before finals to work on projects. I assume that it was because people were working at home. His assumption was that no one was doing anything at all, and. I don't know, like, why you've been a teacher for how many years? You should expect this of, like, adults who are taking classes that sometimes they just won't show up. And I think that people on Showdown, like, Michael, like you were saying how you used to do that, it was the only thing that made you feel good, that's what people will do. They get angry, and so instead of getting mad at themselves, they get mad at other people. Yeah, and that's no, like literally. A, you want to know how to get good at anything? Here, go. let me give you some personal advice from Michael Atrix, MJ Rogers. Right here for for me to use. If you don't say practice, if you don't say practice, I'm gonna hit you in the mouth. That's part of it, right? (laughs) Practice what you do to get better at it for sure. But you want to know an underlying thing to get better at anything you want to do? Get a fucking life. (laughs) Like, oh my god! Don't know life one thing and expect to get good at it. You can't do that. You're not an anime character. All right, you don't don't do that. That's true. That's true. I got better. I got. Showdown told me. I got better at making YouTube content when I stopped liking it and wanted to hang out with real people. Yeah, literally. Marcos, are you okay? No. <laughs> Marcos, you may need a you may need a career change, but last night I was in an escape room for my buddy's birthday, and I said, oh, "I love it." You know, this is real fun having to leave a different room. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. I fucking love escape rooms. That is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> We should, you know what, if, if we ever do the right one meetup, we should do an escape room. I would like to see how all four of us would try and solve puzzles together. How do I? How do Five I minutes in, Michael like... and Brady are eating my dead corpse. Whoa, whoa, man, that's, uh, that's not, that's not what's going on. Not where I, I thought that was going. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like a true test of character. Room. That'd be like <laughs> of the four of us. I think, I think me and Brady are either like <laughs> passing a the brain cell test. back and forth or like killing a true each test other. Just a character. <laughs> Don't eat Marcos. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I think between Michael and Brady, you guys are awesome friends. I know that. I think you guys would start fist fighting each other about 15, 10 minutes in. Yeah. But for those 15 minutes, we're pretty solid. <laughs> we're making progress. <laughs> Michael would be looking yeah. at the marker and pen that they gave us to keep track of clues and be like, no, this is a clue in itself. And Brady would be like, Michael, shut the fuck up. That's me. Up. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Dude, okay. You that know what this be, motherfucker did to me last me. night? I, okay. I, by the way, I have the game now, by the way. Pokemon Scarlet Violet, I own that now because that's been a thing True, that I haven't True, we talk about your experience. Yeah, that'll be fun. Um... I'll even, Michael after Gaming? this this brief aside, I'll tell you about how I got acquired the game. Uh, last mm-hmm. night, I'm playing through Arvid's Quest, right? The Like, one of the three <laughs> main storylines. And it's towards the end, and it's really sad. I'm, like, really depressed now, and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm emotional. This is such a good story. Right? And then when uh, the redacted stood up, right... Uh, if for those of you who you have gotten that far in the game, I was like, "Oh, that's so beautiful!" <laughs> I'm like, bep. "Oh, Brady got up," and Brady goes, bep. "I get up." Bep. Hey. Bep. I get up. Scream! Because I was like, "Dude, I get up." To be fair, Brady is Australian. Van Halen is like always in his mind. Are they Australian? I <laughs> no, it's not. They're Australian. It's that they made like, you know, rock music. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I I had this like 
image in my brain is like visceral just like oh my god he said he got up and it's like the you know the like video of the waffle that like falls down like dramatically <laughs> yeah. it's like that reversed with i get up <laughs> but, like that's like, that's what was in my head and i just see like <laughs> he you said that i'm like bitch it's like a you fucking <laughs> It's like activation, like f- like phrase. It's the like sleeper yeah. agent within you. Yeah, just like neuron clicks. activation. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Oh, that video of the waffle falling over is somehow so. You know that scene from SpongeBob where like the inner workings of my mind are an enigma. And it's the milk yeah. falling over. My that's mind. my brain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's my enigma. brain, but with Put the waffle. <laughs> yeah. If any of you ever fight me, because I'm gonna ask y'all for best of three, so I can prep. Um, I need you to know that all of the time between turns that I am taking, that is what's happening in my brain. The waffle <laughs> is falling over, and then getting back up, and then like falling over again. Like, that's that's all that's going on up there. Nice. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I time. that usually is me. Depending on the tournament, that is me. If it's the tournament that I just did to acquire Scarlet and Violet, uh, oh, that wait. my shit. I was on like X Games mode, turbo speed thinking. Fucking... Wait, did you get it as a prize for winning a tournament? So, yes, but I also didn't win, so... What? Wait, huh? So, singles. Uh, this is OU. Uh, Pokeyame, Joey, uh, old old friend of mine, was running a mm-hmm. tournament uh, on his channel, and then somebody was like, hey, I'll sponsor this, I'll throw in uh, the, you know, a copy of Scarlet or Violet for whoever wins the game, I'll just Venmo them enough money for the, for the thing. And I was like, oh, word, I can compete in that and have a chance at that, right? And I've been playing OU up to the point, and I was like, mm, okay. Dude, when I tell you I've never played better Pokemon in my life because I had something on the line like that. <laughs> Bro, no, that, I know what you mean. Like, when there's actually, like, a prize you care about. Yeah. Like, when at the Chicago tournament, when they busted out that wooden plaque, I went, I'm getting that plaque. Dude, I know, yeah, no, I, <laughs> yeah. me and you shared the exact same feeling then because, like, um, for this, right, I get meaningless all the way up piece to, of driftwood. <laughs> I get all the way up to uh, finals, right? Like I, I was streamed multiple times. I think three times on uh, on the vod. You can go check it out. And if you, you want. didn't tell us. I told a couple. Um, I don't. I don't think I, I, put it in I here, couldn't though. watch it because I was busy. Yeah, no, you didn't everyone tell us. Busy. No, everyone was. Busy. I didn't tell you, Marcos. I probably put it in the chat you're in, but it was like at you with it. Um, oh my god. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Uh. So I get all the way up to <laughs> to finals, right? Uh, I play out of my fucking mind to get there, dude. Like, any any inkling of a fucking, like, chance I was given, like, if they had ever switched defensively, right? I was capitalizing offensively. Like, I'm doubling back and forth, right? I'm predicting switches. I'm Like, they're getting rocks, I'm staying in, I'm clicking the same move twice, and then predicting them to switch out. So it basically looks like I'm just mashing, clicking the same move three times, but it's actually, like, super duper smart. Like, <laughs> I... Never in my life have I done that. My tournament run there was insane. Get all the way up to to uh, second place, and this is where it breaks bad, is because on finals, right, game one, or not game one, because we played Boston one, uh, turn one, immediately, <laughs> Chi Yu ter- terrestrializes into a fairy type, critical hits my Ting Lu, knocks me down to 2%. Ooh. So, uh, ouch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instantly lost the game off turn one uh, in finals. But, but... Uh, I think I put on a pretty good show because then the the person that was organizing the prize was like, ah, you know what? I'll give it to both finalists. And when I tell you, I fucking Yo. screamed. I was like, let's go. Nice. Yeah. That's so actually hype. That's actually the, so hype. I got the pity consolation participation award prize, but it allows me to play the game, and I've been playing the game, yeah. and the game's fun. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's a, I, That's actually Michael, hype. I think this might be the best Pokemon game, to be honest. I'm it, hard with you on that. I, now, that said, it is also the worst Pokemon game. I don't know how to explain that, but it is both. Yeah, no, you're it's, right. It's the you're worst right. made. No, that's BDSB. It's it's close to the <laughs> worst made, but the best created. Like, this <laughs> is BDSB just, had more this polish than this. Fuck. I, I've never, like sat down to play Pokemon and been like, wow, there's a lot here, right? Like, <laughs> there's yeah. so much. I love the map. The, I love the exploration. The story's amazing on Arvin's side of things and even Penny's side of things because now that I'm playing through a lot of the Team Star stuff, I'm like, oh, boy, this is fun, right? But yeah. Yeah. Nimona's, the gym leaders, eh. 
weak as fuck. I love a lot of the gym leaders' designs. Design I don't think cool. they beat Sword rhyme, Shield. Rhyme hard carries the gym leader. Designs. I love Rhyme. Holy yes. Fuck the personality they put into her is amazing because every other else, like most of the other ones, don't really have any personality to them at all. You guys are hard sleeping on Brassius. I love he's Brassius fun. He's also. He's fun too. He's the first guy that did it. So it's, he's insane. Michael is a Larry place. hater. He hates I don't Larry. hate him. What? I just don't see the hype. He's just a dude. I get he's it. He's just That's a guy. That's, That's what point. makes him hype. Just a dude? Yeah. Yeah. He's just a dude. That's what's funny. I, like what, the... what about being just a dude makes me like, I love you, Larry. <laughs> he's a normal what? type gym leader and he's just a dude. He's yeah, just like, like me he's, for real. He's so normal. Yeah, he's, he's just he's like so me. He, he's just Whoa, like me. You two me. are infinitely cooler than Larry. All of you are infinitely cooler than Larry. Well, no, but <laughs> hey, hey, you awesome. shut the fuck up. He's, <laughs> he's an every man who works his ass off every single day of his goddamn life. He's just like yeah. me. He's on he's that the, grind he's set. The, he's the exceptional everyman. He, he, yeah. Uh, he gets me depressed because he's like working an office job every day. He's like, this looks like a boy. yeah, like, yeah, man. That's me. I don't want to be me, but in the factory. He's, he's relatable for the my two eyes content cool creators. Dogs. <laughs> oh, trust like, me, trust me. Larry's balling. Dude, Arvin I, literally I last night in a text box. I forgot what the fuck the context was, but he literally said some shit like, "Uh, he brought up like emotional trauma." What? I was like, I was like, oh, this God. is a Pokemon game. What the fuck? I love this. <laughs> I love that they're bringing that up. Not like everyday man working in a business. Like what? I don't know. I don't that know. doesn't feel like that feels out of place to me. Um, I, I I get that. I like how. Okay, so Bead and Marnie and Hop were pretty cool in Sword Shield. I enjoyed them. They're they're getting into the learning how to do three different rivals. They were this all game pulled cool. off three different rivals so it well, off, and I yeah. think the key was they did not interact with each other that much yes. until the end Literally. of the game. And they weren't even rivals. One of them yeah. was a rival. The other two were just like people that you know. Friends. Yeah, yeah. and I love that. I love that a lot. Because yeah. that gives them all different motivations in in x and y you know you had the guy who liked the pokedex and you had the guy who could dance cool uh, his name's tierno put some respect on his name True. Dude, the guys i do love tierno six fucking sucked oh yeah no <laughs> like, bro, why? bro why i made a tweet so about many... that and it got like ten thousand likes no one well like one person disagreed but i did the impossible and got the entire pokemon community to agree on something like, why? Why make so many if they're not going to do anything? So that's the exactly. thing with the gym leaders for me, right? Is like, earlier when this game was releasing, when we were doing um, episodes of this, I was saying something like, I hope the gym leaders have more, like, interaction outside of the, like, gyms and outside of the, the gym storyline challenge. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really deliver, but the Elite Four so, so far has been. I like that they're kind of, like, following you. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, I agree. That's what They pretty. exist. Yeah. By I the way, like, I like it when by the way, present. when you beat the game, when you beat the game, they don't exist anymore. I figured, yeah, which is like oh. whatever. But like, I don't necessarily care about all of that because it's like a drop in the bucket that is Arvin's storyline. <laughs> dude, <laughs> the Titans. Yeah, no. Dude, give me eighteen Titans, please. I want to play that game instead because those were yeah. so fun. Like the, the three different hats. Really I just love. Here, the I'm rivals. glad they're, I... they're bringing back like the the individual Pokemon boss battles. Yeah. Let yes, me put it, let I me put love it, that. Let me put it like this. I love. When the treasure hunt, which is what the game's supposed to be, feels like a treasure hunt, right? Mm -hmm. Like the Titan shit with the herbs that you're collecting, that feels like a treasure hunt. I love yeah. that so much. Oh my god! Right? Have you Going been exploring, exploring the school at all? The school. That's itself? what I need to do. Yes. I need to take classes. You, you should explore the school because, like, you can, uh, di like, you can unlock like dialogue with certain characters. <gasps> like who? Uh, the the nurse. The nurse. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I care about the? Okay, I'll do. I'll do it. What about want, what about listen, the homeroom teacher? The I want to actually. Teacher. Actually, the correct answer is the history teacher. I, like, I want to like do the everything teacher. in the game. Oh, actually, wait. If I can talk to Dendra, that's a that's a dub. I want to look like Dendra. She's very <laughs> no. Cool. Not not Hi, only Dendra. not only do you, not only do you get to talk to Dendra, <laughs> but you and Dendra work together on on cool stuff. Cool. Okay. But like, I don't okay. know who Dendra is. <laughs> the history the, teacher. The... I don't know who the history teacher is. Yep. Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah. I need to. I need to go to the like. That's. I, I, I have not beaten the game yet. Um, <laughs> Once I beat the game, my plan is to go around the, the school and do But, shit. like, exploring the map so far has been the craziest thing to me. That is, like, yeah, bro. oh, my God. The map is I so be, big. The fact I that I'm fun, swimming, yeah. I'm sorry, I have this. seven gym badges at the moment. I did the eighth one, like, the supposed eighth one, like, the like highest level one uh, just recently. Mm -hmm. And I still have one before that on the opposite side of the map. And the only reason I didn't do the eighth one last is because I was like, 
I mean, it's so fucking far away. I don't want to go over there. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, um, That's fair. That's she had wonders. It'd be like, um, actually, the games have always been open world. You could skip Lieutenant Surge's gym and go <laughs> straight to Saffron City. Okay, yeah, the, the deletion of routes. Can we talk about mm-hmm. that? Because that is, like, the number one, like, yeah. biggest There's thing only there. one route that matters. Yeah. True. Route one. Shout out. Route one. Out the <gasps> um, what was I going to say about something earlier? Routes. No the routes. deletion of routes. No, not just now. I mean, like, you brought it up. The school? Because I got the game. The Titans, the treasure, the, the game's fun. Fucking... I mean, all of that is true, so... Uh, mm-hmm. no, but, like... Mm. It's gone. I don't know why, yeah, it's gone. I don't know why comparing it to I'm old sorry. Pokemon games made me completely forget about it. Maybe because this game pales in comparison. Oh, this game being bad. Dude, raids. <laughs> Holy shit, raids are so broken. <laughs> this game yeah. fucking blows in raids. If, 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 like... If... This game was the same Finished. balance of, uh, like play a game, and then raid uh, with friends. If that was the same, like, amount as Sword and Shield was, where you're doing, like, a lot of raids with friends, more so than, like, I would say playing the actual game, mm-hmm. uh, this game would suck balls. But yeah. <laughs> the fact that it's not, uh, uh, thank God, because those raids, bro, I've been trying to do Charizards. Holy shit, it's a nightmare. Sometimes your menu just doesn't show up. Sometimes the game crashes. Sometimes the fucking... Ooh. Like, oh my god. I thought you were going to talk about the difficulty. I was going to say, yeah, the difficulty is really cool, and I like how you actually have to coordinate, but oh no, is it crashing? Dude, no. Like, Oh wait, Michael was a game. We can finally do all, we can finally all do raids. Yeah, we can do Patreon stuff now. Yeah. 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 I need, I need a raid dude. I am still level 50. I've got, I've (laughs) I've got, I've got dogs for you guys for when we want to do. What are the dogs? Because you just said dogs and I didn't understand. Dashbun. Oh, Dashbun. Yes, little guys. Type with uh, fire immunity ability. Yeah. True. Yeah. Heatran. (laughs) Yeah. Wait, Terra Heatran's gonna go insane as a grass type. Ooh. It already would, dude. People have been trying to put grass move on Heatran since Gen 4, bro, with, like, Power Herb Solar Beam. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, But now he just becomes a grass type. Yeah. And arguably, arguably the best that's grass better. type. Yeah, because that's Flash Fire. That's, that's Armor Rouge right now, but on steroids. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. I, I, I love the meta. I was thinking about it earlier today with the fact that, like... Man, I'm gonna go to this tournament and I'm not gonna have as much experience as other people and I might do just like shit. And honestly, I'm fine with that because the the fact that this is the first tournament in uh, the first regional, I believe, in America. Mm-hmm. And I, I just like, I'm so excited to see what will win. Is this gonna be just a core that has existed since Sun and Moon or are we gonna get fucking some mono new pokemon random ass things running because i go back i'm thinking about the beginning of sword and shield how we got durant and then we got crit kiss and then we like 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 all these things that came out of tournament wins that we started to lose as we went into quarantine and I, i'm really excited for that to yeah. that kind of trend to come back yeah mm. durant so this is my wheelhouse now right now i now that i could say i have vgc experience Stop from man. the previous generation <laughs> Wow, oh my god, saying that's crazy, because you guys were talking about Gen 7 when we were doing Gen 8 stuff, like, at the beginning of the Gen, so now <laughs> I'm talking about Gen, Gen 8 in the beginning of Gen 9. I'm new, yay! Um, yay! Durant showed up after the first regional. Durant was a mm-hmm. direct counter to the, like, uh, Whimsicott Charizard uh, with uh, Wildfire shit that was, like, yeah. uh, running around that Aaron mm-hmm. trailer won Dallas with. Uh, and so the second tournament, Durant was huge. I'm trying to see exactly what you're trying to see, like what wins the tournament, and then I'm trying to see what wins the next tournament after yes. that in direct response because that's the most fun part about Pokemon to me. <laughs> I, I'm so excited to see, and like even if I lose all of my rounds of out of like if I if I just go zero and nine, I don't care because I'm fighting nine different people with unique with probably pretty unique teams, and you I'm just really excited for nine that. Nine different Pokemon players. Yeah. That's fucking cool. <laughs> I am going to be so tired. Okay. Yeah, you are. I wish you the best. <laughs> yeah, I I Physically. I was okay. Give so us this two is something days I was Swiss, thinking please. about. One, the fact that 
Yeah, yeah, Marcos, the fact that we have big numbers now, we definitely need to extend the duration of big tournaments like this because we used to be able to do it pretty comfortably in two days. No, we're kind of pushing it with how many rounds there are, and it's just the exhaustion that comes from that is yeah. just not fun. Do you want to hear my evil secret? What is your evil secret? I'm actually kind of okay with two-day tournaments because it makes it so I don't need to take a day off of work on Monday to get home. I mm -hmm. will agree that is one of the biggest pros about the tournaments being shorter is that adults, which is a lot of people who play this game, have jobs and school and things to deal with. But I don't know. I, mm -hmm. I'd love to see something like fucking... Uh, like, like, like a big fighting game tournament, like FGC stuff. Yeah. Like size for vgc the other thing that awesome. i want to think about is someone mentioned this in the socal discord server and i'm thinking about it now how is open team sheet gonna work are we getting like a oh, copy of works. our opponent's team I, sheet I, know how on... it works. I can tell huh? you both of us i read the don't. rules yeah i read the rules like oh yeah does it say it where? Oh, so how it works please. is how it works is um you fill out a team sheet for the judges, which mm -hmm. has the stats, everything. The, the sheet that they use to make sure you're not changing your team. Yeah. Um, But you also get a sheet that is simplified and only shows the things that your opponent's supposed to be able to see. Mm -hmm. What you do is you take that sheet with you everywhere all day and you slide oh! it over to your opponent each round. Wait, slide it over to them. Wait, wait. Yep, okay, that that makes that, a lot more sense because in my brain, because... I'm like, are they going to print it out for every round? No, because wait, uh, that's strange because n the team sheets aren't physical paper anymore that you submit to Arcanine. Yeah, now they are. They did it. They're going. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> well, hey, I'm going to print out nine no, no, copies submit, of my team sheet just You in submit case. to Arcanine the non-physical uh, paper. Yeah. But you have you have your own copy that is physical paper that you're supposed to give to your opponent each round. Oh, so does the meta have shit handwriting so people can't read what your team is? <laughs> That's fucking you know, No, it's against, it's against it's against the rules. Here's what here's what let me let me interject there because I, I strongly think they're shying away from physical paper. Maybe in certain places, maybe in locals they'll do it like this, but like um with how players' cups were, Marcos. Because we had their information on RK9. That's yeah. That was my thought of like what they would do for that is like on the app you click on a button and it shows the same info that they showed for the players cups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is like. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? It's you already submitted it for the um for the judges. Yeah. The only the, information the one, that they have to hide there is the the EVs and stuff. So mm -hmm. the the one thing that um I think might actually result in a couple of issues is international tournaments and ter tournaments in the EU with yeah. um yeah. different languages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Or no, if you dude, have someone coming on, no, from no, out no, of America cuz there's no restriction yeah, on what, what your I location think, to participate. What I think it's going to be is each round like the people who like have like a language barrier. I think I think you're going to submit it online, right? And then at the venue they may like print out your sheet that you give to other people and then like they're probably going to have like a printer on hand and be like Oh, your opponent this round speaks like Portuguese. Uh, so, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to here's the Portuguese translation, because if you fill it on Arcanine Labs, they probably can like instantly translate it. Yeah, they probably have I don't like know. A, I think it's going to be interesting and very difficult. Wait <laughs> a minute. Like, if it's they, if it's exclusively digital, then you wouldn't oh. be able to look at it while. Well, no, I had imagine no, that, I'd imagine they add like a feature to it where like you like, the TOs, like, specifically the TOs have, like, access to, like, the... Like, you do it all in Arcanine Labs, but the yeah. TO can probably, like... It's probably a feature where you can actually print out what the team sheet is. Uh, like, yeah. it exports to, like, a... Just, like, something you can print out and give, like, a piece of paper to. I, yeah, but that's yeah. 900... Right, oh, or, like, okay. It is. That, it's no, a that'll be part of, paper. of... Okay, I see, I see. Birdie's it's got, a lot of paper. Birdie, has got it. I saw, it it's, it's a ton of paper, but also, hear me out, that's, round. like... It would be like yeah, what you said it's where you the whole get, day. Yeah. No, you would yeah. But also it with you. while while it is a lot of paper, that's like the equivalent of like one book. It, it yeah, only, but it only uh ever becomes an issue for like specifically like English and like like English crossing over a different language or just like it where there's a language barrier. During uh, registration you'd mm -hmm. probably like input what language you would like, you know. Yeah, I'm really curious yeah, to see how it's gonna how it's gonna go. You're gonna find out for us. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm the guinea pig, which is what I mean, makes me I'd really nervous. I'd imagine SoCal. But, um, 
SoCal will actually probably have a decent amount of people out of state to play in. Not out yeah. of state, I mean like out of out of the country. For sure, for sure. Because a lot of people, we go to, a lot of people go down to Mexico to play tournaments and some people from Mexico come up here. So yeah. it's just, it's all over the place. No, no I, from Canada though. People have already discussed this exact conversation at TPCI and at like the people that RTOs, so I have faith okay. that it'll be fine. They have it. Then that's out. on they me. I just I out. haven't seen these conversations be happening, so I was thinking about. It. I was well, like, yeah. oh, this yeah. is gonna be interesting. No, the nightmare scenario. There's two nightmare scenarios. If the meta becomes uh, have shit handwriting, or if the meta is like who has the best memory and they keep it digital because you can't have your phone in battle with you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you gonna see. <laughs> yep. We I mean, shall yeah, find out. Because if they keep it digital, you can't, like, read what they have, translate that onto a notebook that you take in with you, because the notebook has to be blank that you take in mm-hmm. with you to the battle, so. Yeah. We're gonna see. <laughs> yep. yep. Yippee. Yeah. I'm very so, excited to so, play yeah. poorly. Give team. Give team. Give team. What? Give team. What, like, us give you team, or? Yes. I don't know what I'm have, doing. I've <laughs> given no, you the war crime team already. Actually, I have the sauce. I'm laddering this Sunday, so. I will. I will watch. Yeah. I, I need to go buy a switch dog, but I could do that Sunday. So. Oh. <laughs> I um, I haven't been talking much oh, this God. episode because I've been using a spuffer on showdown and smile. <laughs> Why I, does I've been, everyone I've been talking and I'm I'm mark hunting for Tetsugiru right now because oh, I because I can't just. Have a team. I have to have the cool team. Wait, cool why team. don't you use the demon? The the not the demon. The Titan Tetsugiri. Uh, because the Titan Tetsugiri is not the kind I need for my team. Oh, yeah. true. It's a different true, type. True, true. Um, yeah, no. For for it, it's weird laddering because I actually am enjoying myself, and it's weird. It's weird, but I'm oh, that's enjoying great. myself, and <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, to the Bro point where I. Play. Bro doesn't have to play Series 12 anymore, thank yeah, God. <laughs> yeah, uh, to the what point where where I'm making videos, but also I'm lettering at, up until like 3 a.m. when I have work in like two and a half hours. Uh, it, yeah. It's always a good sign game. when you play the game outside uh, of recording. I think Brady likes to rastalize. Yeah, <laughs> I found out Brady. the other day. Yeah, yeah. Me, and, me and Michael were going on a. Oh, this is where the Michael team came from. I was running um like a snow team with like a bomber snow to tie in um, and then like uh fucking in DD Armor in, Rouge, uh, and Hydreigon. that's what Mousehold, and that's where Mousehold, we found out yeah. Mousehold in DD was kind of fucked. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> turns out that I found out last night. But my Abomasner was not EV'd, so that explains why my Abomasner wasn't doing anything. We were we were oh. having a hard time getting Master Ball. <laughs> I and, wonder why. Yeah, uh, it, it doesn't help that, but it, during that se- same session, I um before like actually helping onto letter, I had shiny hunted for um shiny hunted for mousehold, got it in like half an hour. But then forgot to give. Uh, I like I trained it all up with like the EVs and like gave it the right moves and stuff and the right item, uh, and gave it technician. But I didn't give it bottle caps, so it like underspent oh. stuff it should have been outspeeding oh. and it wasn't KOing things it should have KO'd and it was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? <laughs> so um, we energy balled a, a Rotom wash with a bomb of snow and it did like. 55 and i was like what the fuck <laughs> that's an <laughs> issue if you wrote if you wrote yeah. we literally i think we were like oh my well, god like, they're like max <laughs> yeah i need i need one of y'all to sell me on fucking um abama stove because i do not I, uh, listen okay i don't worth. have i cannot have that credibility to tell you about it because i've only played with zero iv zero ev abama <laughs> snow so like i'm biased okay, so, it did so well here's the thing. abama snow abama snow eats like Fighting stab close combats with the snow boost, like it's stupid. Oh, yeah, I, I think uh, I think just having like the option to like either one like hit guy that is weak to ice move or two aurora veil, so the rest of your guys can survive hits. Uh, or or is... three hit blizzard on the Garchomp. Yeah, yeah maybe I mean, I'm just maybe I'm just playing it wrong because oh, I just found Groom Starl way more efficient. You all yeah, Garchomp. Obama Snow is a hard Garchomp. Ball, you yeah. all you ah. all Garchomp. It also actually pairs super well into uh, a, like Don Dozer, given it isn't Steel Terra. 
But then, like, mm. on the same team, I have an armor rouge, so get fucking armor cannon, nerd. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. Like, because, okay. It's crazy that armor rouge and Sarah Ledge are, like, both good. That's, like, rare. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's weird, because, like, I have I don't think I've run into, like, a decent Sarah Ledge, like, team. I don't think. The, the good ones are bulk up Terra Grass. I, I know about Terra Grass. Those guys just turn into Terra Grass with a flash fire. But like Yeah. I can imagine I can see I can imagine it being kinda decent. Like Flash Fire, Terra Grass Pokemon's so fucking fire to me because it's like what are your weaknesses? Flying and poison. Point me to the flying and poison types right now. Where are they? <laughs> it's check. like only it's only like Talonflame and like yeah. Murkrow. Oh, and like ice types I yeah. suppose too, but like Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, if you fight the so Titan teams. had EVs, right, Brady? Or was it just Obama's new? Uh, no, so Titan had EVs. Yeah, Actually, I'm not sold one. on Titan. I think Titan sucks. No, no Obama's no might make really it better, but like, be I, I, I think Titan blows. <laughs> Obama. I wish there was like on this team specifically. I need to like try to workshop a better like <laughs> guy to put in that slot because it's not doing. It's not picking up the slack. Although it does. Yeah. does pick up some some of those you know niche like, like clutch KOs sometimes like you know yeah like it, powering it's the like, terrestrial steel hydragon yeah, yeah. Hmm. should we wrap up the episode i just we've been going for a while yeah um Long episode. you I know guess... who else is a steel type stack attacker i'm sorry yeah. finish your thought brady <laughs> i'm sorry damn that's crazy i'm, oh, I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> no um i wanted to like sort of end it off with like you know Pokemon is something that we've all sort of like grown up with, and you know we're oh, kind of reaching, right. we're right. kind of like reaching the end of an era right now. Like, mm -hmm. so, dear viewers, if you episode. did, yeah. <laughs> dear viewers, if you did not know, um, we are coming up on the end of the era of Ash and Pikachu being the main characters of the Pokemon anime. So, yeah. uh, that's a. Oh, technically we have two end of errors at the moment, but we can talk about that afterwards. Um, you know, we, we've we all grown up watching Pokemon, like, with Ash and Pikachu as, like, the headliner for the show, and that's not going to be a thing anymore. There's one more, like... Uh, I will cry. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it sort of hits you in the gut, and you're like, huh. Yeah. yeah. Ash they and Pikachu are out, Bartholomew and Blorko are in. <laughs> I think it's Roy and like Rico. No, it's Bartholomew no, it, it's, and it's Blorko. It's Bartholomew and his partner Blorko. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, like, dude, yeah. I'm I'm 24. Ash, 10 years old somehow, but he wanted <laughs> to be a Pokemon master, dude, and he won the championship. So it's like, it's, it's over. Th the end Fuck. of the story. Yeah, it's like I think it feels when weird. When I was younger, when I was younger, I feel like I said some shit like. Damn, if Ash can be a Pokemon master, so can I, right? And like, <laughs> oh my God, saying that makes me want to cry. <laughs> you know, you know what's, you know what's the saddest part about all this? It'd be a lot better if they uh, progressed his character throughout series that weren't eight and seven and eight exclusively. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Or six, seven, eight. Yeah. If if the first five, if you could canonically throw away everything in but not canonically obviously because you know you, you meet these characters but as far as character progression goes when you can throw away basically every event between gens two and six five or yeah between two and six and you can just go one six uh one six seven eight uh, it would hit harder you know, <laughs> but yeah, no. Well, the, by, all, by all things considered, it's a nostalgia the, the Pokemon thing. that yeah. uh, that us that like, that we grew up in our age is like. Kind of the bad Pokemon anime, but like, it's still, <laughs> yeah. it's still Pokemon. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, no, my favorite, my favorite thing I saw was like, you guys are crying like you were watching them last week. <laughs> no, you guys are yeah. crying like you've been watching this for twenty four years. <laughs> no, uh, well, it's it's a nostalgia no, thing for but sure. Like, you know, it's still been there. It's still like a cool yeah, yeah. like thing of you know Pokemon. It's like Ash and Pikachu guys, and then... yeah, you heard about Ash winning Alola, and then like. You heard that he was like in the grand finals for this season, so you go. I guess I'll keep up with what's going on right now. <laughs> yeah, Marcus, the Leon Marcus. Ash fight is hype as fuck. By the way, you should let me, give let it me, a watch. Let me full circle this for you. For back to the beginning of the episode with the Hispanic culture shit. This is this this is the same vibes of if like 
El Chavo de Ocho died tomorrow. That's the same. Oh same fucking no! Vibes. Same no, vibes. not El Chavo. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> like. Oh, He's by the way, update. Update. Um, I got two. I got a marked Don Dozo and a marked Tatsugiri, and now I'm ready marks? to build my team. They're both the sociable. <laughs> I've got, ooh, I, got a, I got a Pokemon. I got a Pokemon in with each a other's mouths. I got a Pokemon with a mark uh, in uh, in Gen Eight that was really cool. It was a uh, Stack Attack at the ten dollar Patreon sub. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. The Vivillion I, should, I, I should used in my playthrough had a mark called Vanilla the Early Riser because I named her Vanilla. I have I've got a Sleepy Dreepy. So <laughs> the Sleepy my, Dreepy. I owned my that roommate, Sleepy Dreepy my for a day. Had a uh, had a uh, a um what's his name Cramrat. And his name was Peepee the Sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> the Sleepy is just the best tag, I think. Peepee the Sleepy. Yeah. Um, and I believe I, I, I kept trying to have like really fun rhyming names. So I had a uh, Clefable that was the Mist Drifter, and I named it Heavy Lifter. <laughs> I love that. I love Marks. Very good. Marks very good awesome. addition to yeah. to Pokemon in yeah. general. You could call me a Marxist. For, for real, Marcos, yeah, it's in your name, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Marcos is just. I mean, that was the whole goal of me going back to like get old Kyogres right, so I could have like Kyogre of a Living Legend from fucking yeah. Pop Soul Silver. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, anyway, welcome to Patreon. How's it going, everybody? Uh, thank you for subscribing to the Patreon. Uh, Crazy Carlton, Plumber, Professor Gems, Ryan, and Turja, as well as everybody else. Um. Yeah, they're awesome. Thank you very much. Um, there was another thing that uh, that ended, which is like the episode, not the episode. There were a bunch of episodes that that came out. Jojo Part Six finally f finished airing, so I've oh, watched true. it. Oh true. Oh yeah. Have I need you to watch that, Marcus. I uh, yes. You have, I have and not. I and I read it and I yeah, watched well, it, so me, I was quite happy. Me, me, Ash, and Marcos have all read it. Michael has not, so I'm not going to spoil what happens um, for him. But yeah, Jotaro no. gets Anna Sui pregnant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, the Anna actual explanation of the final arc of part six, you know, yeah, that that adds up. What does you know? What does King Crimson do? Uh, you know, like that old meme. It's yeah. What does Made in Heaven do? What, what does <laughs> Made in Heaven do? I'm so confused about weather report. Why are there snails? Yeah. Oh. Anasui's face turns into a large ass mouth and yells at Jolene because she threw the ring. <laughs> <laughs> That's like my favorite what the edit. Fuck? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna post in in uh Harris General. <laughs> are we still recording? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's say bye to the patrons. Bye. <laughs> goodbye, bye. patrons. Goodbye, everybody. Only goodbye to the patrons, not any of our normal viewers. That would be crazy. All right. <laughs> Bro, that's a good video.